Hi Drinks Tubers, my name is Rich. I have come all the way from West London to our East London little tiki hub to show you one of my favorite drinks of all time. It's called a Missionary's Downfall. It is a wonderful, summery, refreshing drink. It was originally invented in the 1940s. It's got mint, honey, pineapple, a little bit of peach liqueur, and some light Puerto Rican style rum. So we're gonna take all of these wonderful ingredients and we're gonna shove them in a blender, blend them down with loads of ice to make it super, super cold. So into this, we're gonna be adding some pineapple. Take these about an inch cube or so, chuck them in. We're gonna need about six or seven. What these are gonna do, it's gonna provide sort of this fruity, zesty sort of sweetness to the drink, but it's also got some nice acidity in there too. It's also gonna add texture as well, because we're blending this. It's gonna make this drink a little bit thicker. We then need a little bit of lime, to lift all the other flavors together. So you need to add 20 milliliters of lime juice. Now we add some more sweetness to this and we're gonna use honey. It's lovely, fragrant, delicate sort of sweetness to it. So around about a tablespoon of honey. We're also talking about mint in this drink as well. What you can do is you can then just chuck in some mint leaves into this and blend them all up. But what that's gonna do, it's gonna leave little tiny little pieces of mint throughout the whole drink. So what I'd recommend you do is instead of using fresh mint, is to use a mint syrup. It's really, really easy to make. You add one part of sugar and one part of water to a little pot with a big handful of mint. Just chuck it all in, leave it for a couple of minutes, strain it all out, add a couple of mint leaves in it, leave it in the fridge, and it will come out with this wonderful, sweet, fresh, sort of minty flavor. Really, really tasty. So 15 milliliters. Then the second sweetener to this, which is a wonderful peach liqueur. Again, it's really simple. It's a tablespoon, 15 milliliters. What we need now is the rum, 50 milliliters. A nice light Puerto Rican style of rum is absolutely perfect. That's what was originally used in this in the 1940s. Now we need to add just a little bit of pineapple juice to this, just a splash and then some ice, 12 ounces or one scoop. Pop the lid on it and blend. So you want to keep this blending almost for as long as possible really, until it's nice and smooth. So here we go, I'm going to strain it into our wonderful glass. Always choose something nice, just make sure it looks good. There we go, that looks absolutely awesome. So of course we need to put a straw in there. But tiki drinks, they're all about opulence, making it look amazing. You want to blow people's mind with the drink they're about to have. So we need to think about putting some really cool garnish on this, make it look really neat. A little sprig of mint, such as that. Give it a little spank, just to wake it up and release some of those aromas in there. And put the mint right next to the straw. That's always a nice trick. So when you put your head in there to have a sip, all you can smell is that lovely mint. Then I always like a little bit of orange as well. A little bit of citrus works really nicely. Give it just a little spray over the top with a drink like that. What I like to do sometimes, as opposed to putting a nice big orange twist, is just to finely, thinly slice up your, your zests and stuff like that and make them a bit like julienne and just plonk them on top like so. And of course, no tiki drink is finished without a lovely little cherry on top there. So there you have it, my favorite cocktail in the entire world. Pineapple, honey, peach, these wonderful, fresh, exotic flavors. I can't wait to taste it. You can see why they called it a missionary's downfall. This could turn even the best of people bad. It's absolutely delicious. Perfect for a lovely summer's day. I couldn't encourage you to make this drink more. It is so, so delicious. If you haven't got a blender, check out my pina colada recipe, which is down here, and you'll learn how to make tiki drinks without the use of a blender. But really, it's totally worth the effort. And don't forget, subscribe to Drinks Tube. It's absolutely free, completely worth it. And if you have any more questions on tiki cocktails, tiki culture, anything like that, just post them in the comments box below. Mm. Yum. See you later.